You can be reborn in the animal realm, you can be reborn in the hell realm, you can be reborn in the heavenly realm, depending on your action. Now, if you're reborn in a, uh, a human form, uh, you know that there are many women that have miscarriages. Why do they have a miscarriage? Because the being that's reborn, it was short-lived. Now, according to Buddhism, life occurs at the moment of conception. There's body and there's consciousness when that occurs. So, if the the uh, person that's being reborn, if they were cruel and they killed other beings, they might only be in the womb for a short period of time before the mother's uh, body rejects it. And then they have to be reborn in another state. And then you say, well, it doesn't matter what country it is. Every country has people that live to be a hundred years old or more. And you'll see that that person really didn't, uh, didn't like to kill other beings. And the reason that they lived such a long life is because they didn't harm other beings. They didn't kill them. Here, student, some man or woman is given to injuring beings with a hand, with a clod, with a stick, with a knife. Because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a state of deprivation. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is sickly. This is a way, student, that leads to sickliness. Namely, one is given to injuring beings with a hand, with a clod, with a stick, with a knife. Think about these guys in the Middle East. Now, this not only manifests in future lives, but it can also manifest in your, in your daily life. If you're given, given to a lot of cruelty and causing pain to other people, physical pain, then you do have a tendency not to be very healthy. But here, student, some man or woman is not given to injuring beings with a, with a hand, with a clod, with a stick, with a knife. Because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is healthy. Now, oh, I am... Fifty-six or fifty-seven, I don't know which it is. <laughs> and I've always had a healthy body. Because I haven't done the things that cause the body to get sickly. I haven't had any real problems with my body at all. The only times I've ever gone hungry in my life are the times that I've wanted to go hungry. which in Asia is completely amazing because everybody goes through times when food is real scarce and they have famine and that sort of thing. I'm coming up on the 40-year anniversary of my graduation from high school. And half of the people 
that I went to high school are either close to death or they've died. Now, why does that occur? Why is that like that? In the past lifetimes, they they lived short lives because in the past they caused harm to other beings. They're sickly because they they cause pain to other beings. So we have to be reasonably careful about the five precepts. There is a reason for this stuff. And it's not some kind of a, a commandment coming down that some higher being is going to harm you because of that. You're breaking one of these precepts. You know when you've broken a precept and you know that you shouldn't have done it. When you pay attention to that quiet little voice in your head, you cause harm to another being, your mind says, I shouldn't have done that. 